Hey guys, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirths. I think I'm going to try knocking out another challenge today. I know the last one I did was a challenge, but uh, I saw when I was doing computer savvy that the next one on the list was Waka Waka. Waka Waka, I think, is probably the hardest of the challenges because it combines one of my worst items with a mediocre build. One of my most disliked items with a mediocre build, and that is the magnet. I do not like the magnet because it is a great way to pull enemies right into your face. That said, I'm feeling positive about this because I did Waka Waka on my first try twice on my other game. And uh, the reason I did it twice is, uh, well, I did it once several months ago and I did it on my first try. And I did it recently a week ago, I think, uh, because I wanted to kind of practice it because I knew it was coming. Uh, but let's grab my seed. Alright, so Waka Waka. The reason it's called Waka Waka is essentially the the gimmick is that like, uh, like Spider-Man, like Spider-Man, I'm looking right at spiders, like Pac-Man, you're making things follow you along a dotted trail. And basically that's kind of the gimmick. And for some enemies it actually works pretty well. You can actually drag them into a slew of damage, especially if you get good items. Unfortunately, I think Waka Waka goes either to Isaac or at least to Mom's heart. So it's actually a fairly deep run. And for for a, a run that doesn't give you much to go on other than uh, anti-gravity and I think it's just anti-gravity and the uh, I still don't know what this does oh, but I know what this does I'm gonna go with petrified poop uh, sorry My train of thought just completely drilled I think it's only the two yeah it's anti-gravity tears and the magnet that's all you get and that sets you up for um, Pretty good mediocrity, because I think your item rooms, once again, are also turned off. I don't remember that 100%. Again, it's been... All the challenges kind of blend together after a while. I am going to take the time to break these poops, because shops are going to be pretty key. If it's anything like the other challenges, as far as the the no, sh uh, the no item rooms. But I am going to full clear this floor. I would like to see a little bit of soul heartage on the floor. I don't have a key, so I couldn't even hope to get one out of my shop. Uh, probably will do that cursed room, though. Uh, the other thing that's kind of interesting about Waka Waka, especially for uh, Afterbirth, is that it's it, it's one of the it's one of the challenges that I got significantly harder just because of the new enemy types. Uh, there are a lot of really light enemies that can do a lot more damage to you. These fire guys are an example of them, which is why I bring it up. Because they can jump right at you, and your tears will actually, if they jump just right, will slingshot them right at you. And they can cover a, a tremendous amount of dif 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 difference, distance, and hit you right in the face. Okay, so I do have a bomb. So this is going to be worthwhile. I think I can get the bomb in the pot. Not the bomb in the pot, uh, the heart in the pot. I should have checked for a super secret there, but it's pretty... <sighs> Why did I do that? I completely forgot that... Oh, oh, well. Oh, well. So, yeah, there are no item rooms. I was kind of expecting that. I'm, again, my take on cursed rooms is that cursed rooms can sometimes be big, but usually they are complete rubbish. Uh, Little Horn is actually one of the worst bosses as far as uh, Waka Waka, because he is extremely light. Uh, he is a very, very easy to pull into yourself. In fact, as you saw, I already did it once. I should have saved that heart for after this boss fight, honestly. But yes, he is... Because he's flying, I think mostly flying enemies are all like this. Because he's flying, he's just very, very light. Uh, which means that the... Yeah, the chance I'm going to pull him into myself is just tremendous. And unfortunately, Waka Waka, the challenge as a whole... Uh, Without Devil Deals, you are going to be in a very bad place with this run. Uh, it's very Devil, devil Deal-centric. Uh, specifically, just getting tons and tons and tons of damage. Uh, health is not what I want to see. Uh, well, yeah, Waka Waka is very damage-centric. Uh, not so much Tier 8. Tier 8 actually is almost irrelevant just because of the way that it works. Uh, but, you spiders. Do not want to take damage in this room. Okay, we're going to... We're gonna tap shot this one for. I hate tap shotting, but uh, with spiders, I do not want to get them too close to me. Hmm. Now the good thing about Waka Waka is that there are, with the the magnet, there are some things that you can pull actually across 
chasms and stuff so it can make getting items easier. I am definitely going to break all these poops because if I can get enough money and a key, I can make the shop. And I'm only six cents away from making the shop worthwhile. And it's feasible that I could still get six cents on this floor. Not the most likely. Ooh. Yeah, I don't like these types of spiders. I can't believe I didn't get hit just then. Okay. I was going to say super or my secret room was probably right there, but it's obviously not. Oh, why has this room got so many spiders? All right, so definitely hoping for two soul hearts here. And get. Okay, so now I want to find my boss. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, game. Let's... Ooh. Another bomb, just at the right time. Now I gotta remember to pick that up, but not right yet. Odds are that I'm gonna be just fine in this boss fight, but just in case I'm gonna leave. Oh, this is another really bad boss for Waka Waka. And of course, it is floor two basement, so getting Monstro was almost a guarantee. I don't know what it is about Floor 2 Monstro. So that, that this is... If you can walk work the Waka Waka like this... And I was doing it there for a second, where you're just pulling them... Pulling them along the... The trail here. It actually work, it, it can actually do quite a bit of damage rather quickly. But, because of Monstro's jumpiness, and the fact that he sprays bullets all over the room, you don't, you don't always have a consistent path for him to take. And he could jump in the middle of it and then take a weird bounce just as he lands right into you. Uh, but I think uh, I think I got through that okay. Did a lot better with Ooh, Binky. Take the extra health. As I said, tier eight not that big a deal, but I will take it. Please be some damage in here. Ah, okay. All right. Well, don't do that. Definitely take Goat Head, because that means that it doesn't matter if I take Red Heart damage. So I could actually convert to a Red Heart build if I want to, uh, if it becomes possible. I am really trying to decide. Do I try for Guppy? Do I try for Guppy? Yes, I try for Guppy. With this build, if you get Guppy working, definitely take that, because that was essentially my free Goat Head or my free Hairball. Uh, don't have enough money, but I do have, looks like, one, maybe two more rooms, and I can... Did I see? Uh, yeah, it could be. I don't have a bomb. I do not have a bomb. I would not mind a... Hmm. Would not, okay, there's the bombs. It used to be that you could kind of... Because I might be able to pull the pennies out of there. Yeah. Oh, I got a couple of them out. Uh, but not enough of them, unfortunately. Can I... Yep. Alright. Yep. <laughs> Can I pull them? Oh, please. Come on. I just need one of them. <laughs> I just need one of them, please. Please, game. Clip, 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 clip. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Okay, now I can do my shot. Uh, so I should test here, because it's probably where it is. Yeah. I'm going to say, if it was money... Ooh, get out of there. Alright, so I can bomb into my... So having one bomb actually wouldn't have mattered. It's good I got two. Oh, crap. Well, at least I can pull the chest out of there. And if I find another bomb... And... Oh, no, no, this way. This way. There we go. Nope. Oh, I didn't... I was moving fast enough. Okay. Actually, there's one still in there, isn't there? It's up in the corner. Okay, so we gotta... Push, and then out, and then... Push, and then out, and then... Push. Uh, some of them. Bummer. Well, that was almost worthwhile. Probably could have done one more push to get it in there a little bit more, but I didn't want to spend all day in there. Jar of Flies... Or the placebo. Both of those are very good in the right circumstances. Um, hmm. Okay. So, I'm thinking the placebo, just because 
I'm thinking that's going to be better than having fly. Uh, I don't know what to pick. Both of them could be... Well, if my pill pool is garbage, that would be just a waste. I know this is good either way. So while this could, could potentially be better, I know this is solid. So let's just go with the thing that I know. I know Jar of Flies is solid. I know that I badmouthed it earlier, uh, but I've since uh, gotten it a couple of times in my private game, and I have gone a full 180 on that. I think Jar of Flies is actually pretty amazing, because it's essentially one fly per kill, which is kind of like a kind of like a guarantee. What's uh, what's the one? Is it uh, Mother's Wig that does the same thing? No, Infestation Two. It's essentially an Infestation Two for flies. Uh, but if you combine it with, like, the car battery, it can actually be quite good. Is it car battery? No. Uh, what am I thinking of? Yeah, car battery, I think. There was something that synergized really well with that. I think it was car battery. Mm, I would really love to do that, but I would need, like, a golden key or a whole heck of a lot more keys than I'm seeing. Okay, just stop everything. Stop. Get away from my face. It's the really small rooms like that that are the most janky. Luckily, as I said before, uh, red heart damage is not actually a big deal beyond just the fact that I'm made precarious by having less health. But as far as devil deals, I can still take devil deals. Uh, but as, as usual, I mean, health, you want to keep as much as possible around. All right. Um, I've got one, one heart left and 19 flies, so I might as well just fly pestilence here. You know, those flies, unfortunately, are not doing a tremendous amount of damage. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> I going to say, the, most of the room was covered in creep. And we're getting there again. That's This is not a good boss for this, this challenge because of the, the creep issue. I might have to do a little bit of pulse fire. Right at the end, really. Get rid of my last little bit of soul heart. All right, cube of meat, a little bit of protection. Ooh. Um, I would love all of those. Well, this deal is going to stay open. So, I really, really need damage. And Fear Shot is a little bit of damage. Uh, Contract from below I would really like. The Pentagram is also damage. I think I'm going to go with Fear Shot, Dark Matter. I'm going to start with Dark Matter. Um, and then I'm going to hope to find enough Soul Hearts to make me... Oh, I should have taken Contract from below because that's gonna would have doubled all my soul hearts. All right, well, let's see what we get in the shop here. No, I don't want to go in the shop. I got two cents. What, what am I talking about? Let's see what's in the shop here. Pfft. There's a key. I could go into the shop, but I realize I do not want to. I need three more keys, actually, because then I can use my... Then I could use the, uh, the chest room, although... Oh, I knew I was taking damage on that one. There was just no way out of it. I mean, there would have been maybe a way out of it, but I think they both turned right towards me, and that would have been... I might have been able to use Guppy's... Guppy's shenanigans on them, but again, uh, since I'm Red Hearts anyway, it doesn't really matter. I think I'll go back and use whatever keys I end up getting on that challenge room, because uh, it's possible that I'll drop more keys, and it's possible that it could just be an amazing item. That doesn't do anything. Let's definitely use my flies in here. Get rid of all these bonies. I don't have a bomb, unfortunately. Otherwise, I could get another key and a pill, and then it would be balls of steel, and I would feel really dumb. Hmm. That doesn't do anything. Let's see. Do I have red hearts on the ground? I have at least a at least one in the boss room. At least a half. So let's. Could be good. Yeah. Friends, okay, so just in case this is a help down. Oh. That's not good. Okay, so I guess we're taking one key into the trap room and hoping that maybe another one drops either from... Uh, okay, we'll get this heart. And hope that one drops from either the... Either the, the chest or the uh, the boss, the boom drop itself. Nope. The fool card means I could get out of here if I want to, but I kind of actually want... I kind of actually want the... Uh, want to fight this, because it could drop a key and I could get another chest. It's also going to fill up my flies, so that's kind of nice, too. 
And there's not a lot of surprises in a normal trap room. Really? They didn't drop anything? Well, that's disappointing. Alright, well, I guess we're just going to go with opening only one chest. Alright, uh, this is feeling like kind of precarious. Do I... Gosh, do I take contract from below? Do I take contract from below? It's double items. What puts me super precarious where I could die in one or two hits? Yeah... This is my last run of the day. I might as well do something dumb. That's probably going to be what ends me, but I... Oh, I'm only going... Oh, I'm only going to Mom? I thought I was going to Mom's heart. What What am I thinking of here? All right, guys. There's Waka Waka at its best right there. I need a Tinted Rock. Tinted Rock, please. Ooh. Um... Are you guys... For a second there, nobody was doing anything. That was weird. I thought my game might have been glitching. Uh, actually, at this point, Burnt Penny is probably a little bit better than... A little bit better than the... Well, actually, it, it's about even up. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> That's the way you're gonna die in Waka Waka, is just dragging something right on at you. Uh, a bit of a short run and disappointing finisher to it, but... Uh, yeah. I think we're just going to leave it there for, for this particular night and session. Uh, I kind of knew that taking, yeah, that taking contract from below was going to be the death of me, but I kind of had to try for it because it was possible I was going to get a double soul heart drop. But I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. It won't be Waka Waka. We'll come back to it later. Later.